elementary school. Daycare center, unbelievable. Why are you urinating in the park? Now at 11, fires, fights, and indecency. A homeless camp is creeping close to a school and a park where children play. Recently, in fact, a principal was punched and parents are fed up. Tonight, NBC4's Hetty Chang is live in Whittier with a story that came to us as part of our Streets of Shame series. Hetty? Yeah, Chuck and Colleen, that's right. We're here at Luffingwell Elementary School where last Thursday morning, as you can imagine, this drop-off area was packed with parents and students. Some of them say that they saw that man urinating nearby, and when the school principal approached him, asked him to stop, that's when he was punched in the face. Whittier's Parnell Park is the town's newest tent city. Dozens of homeless live here, and neighbors say the city and law enforcement are powerless to stop it. Right here by the YMCA. A neighbor shared with us this video of a fire in another encampment, this one behind his home and near Leffingwell Elementary School, where just Thursday, witnesses say this same man seen here urinating near the school. Why are you urinating in the park? punched the principal when he asked him to stop. The guy was dropping F-bombs and saying, you know, you can't tell me what to F and do and threatened to harm him. And then next thing you know, he stepped forward and punched him right in the face. And to see our principal be assaulted is just 100% unacceptable. There are many, many things that a city can do to address public spaces. At tonight's city council meeting, frustration stretched out the door. Neighbors fed up. With the fighting, the vagrants, and violence, begging Whittier leaders to do something. And it's only getting worse. Do something, okay? Do your jobs. At last check, city leaders are still in that meeting right now. We just learned that they approved a curfew at nearby Leffingwell Park. They're looking to do the same at other parks in the city. Live in Whittier tonight, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.